Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will learn about Extreme Drift Asset, which is available on Asset Store, and also you can download it from UnityGameDeveloper.com. It was a request. So some uh, a body was not able to configure uh, this Extreme Drift. So I will uh, make a quick overview that how you can set up the Extreme Drift asset. So here, uh, we, if we uh, import the Extreme Drift, we will find this folder of Extreme Drift. If we open this folder, we have these subfolders and uh, inside scripts we have some scripts and the main folder is actually the scenes one in scenes we have a main menu if we open the main menu we can see this nice main menu if we play the main menu uh, then you will see that uh, we have a nice uh, car selector menu a nice garage we can select our vehicle and after selecting the vehicle we can just uh, click on select track and then we can select the track we can select our first track and we can click on start and here unfortunately you will see that we can't load our first level so this is the first problem so for solving this problem we have to add our scenes in build settings so first scene will be main menu after that we will add the race tracks which are in race tracks folder so one by one track one will be on one track two track three track four track five and track six six i will i have just created it for testing purposes it's not the track so after adding these tracks now if we play the game hopefully we will be able to load our scene so now if we click on start you will see that our scene is loading and now we can play the game okay so we are able to play the game so that's nice now regarding the asset customization Customization is uh, very easy. For example, in the main menu, you want to change something. Uh, for example, this is the main menu, and you want to change extreme drift uh, icon. You can just choose this. You can change the logo over here. You can place your own logo here, or you can drag drop your image sprite here, and uh, uh, with that skill you can just change the logo with that method also you can change these uh, icons as well you can change the icon you can change this setting icon as well and with setting icon these are actually the buttons okay so for every button whatever you will select you can see the details here and you can also uh, check the uh, here the functions that which function is selected for this button you can change the audio of the button you can change the function of the button as well so after that here you will see that we have uh, you you can definitely change these icons as well and you can change the functionality of these icons as well you can place your own youtube channel name you can place your own publisher account id here as well similarly you can select you uh, you can choose the select vehicle uh, section and in select vehicle button you can see that we have selected this function where we are enabling the current uh, panel one okay so these panels are programmed so what this panel is first panel this was is second then third then fourth and fifth so like this so we are enabling the first panel and we are disabling the main menu panel okay so uh, if we 
click on vehicle panel garage you will see this uh, panel and inside this panel uh, we have these buttons so the top next vehicle button okay and on this button you can see the function next vehicle function is added previous vehicle function is added on previous button you can change the sprites of these buttons as well so we can change sprite from here okay so we can customize everything we can also select the bottom button and we will found the uh, uh, function and you can see that there is no function on this bottom Im image and under this bottom panel we have these sub buttons which have certain functions after that we will uh, explore the next uh, button which is customize vehicle and if we open it you can found these icons you can customize these icons as well we can select enough money section and we can customize this one and we have level chooser panel where we have certain levels okay and sorry if we play the game then we can uh, drag these panels in a better way so here you can see we have these panels and we can uh, drag these panels like this and actually we have made a mistake that we have dragged this panel uh, so we will just move it here also uh, this section actually the whole level chooser we want to move it like this and then inside this section we will move uh, these this uh, panel over here and then we can adjust these panels as well okay so we can customize everything and uh, now you will see that it will be fine I think so yeah so now you can see that we can customize you can see the distance we have make here and uh, now here we have track one we can place it here as well so it's up to you also we can duplicate any level you can see on level button if we select level one you can see a function here where we are selecting zero uh, level and on level two we will find one level three will upload two and like this okay but actually this is not truth truth is that we have uh, sub items inside the level and inside these panels we have these source images we can change this image as well star image star 2 star 3 then we have this locked icon we can enable and disable this and <coughs> then current level and this is level number and best time we can change these as well then this is level 2 and inside this level 2 if you will see the level number you can see track 1 and in level 2 if we extend it we have lot of things for this level 2 and uh, best time and level number as well in this way we can customize everything regarding main menu now uh, moving for uh, further to tracks if we open some track for example track 1 or track 2 whatever track we can customize that tracks as well for example the track UI we can select any of I, I item and we can move that uh, in another uh, position for example like this we can select any current time for example we can move it here so like this we can make changes with UI as well we can change the styles as well also for the scenes itself 
for example we don't want these boards here for example with extreme drift we can select these boards we can just delete these boards and we can place our own boards over here we don't need this board as well we can delete this board as well so like this we can make different changes with extreme drift also if we want to make another track for our game we can do that as well for that you can see a hierarchy in this scene so we have these uh, items so if we want to create another scene with another track we can do that so before that we can go to extreme drift prefabs and we can make different prefabs for these items i already have made these prefabs uh, i will just delete these prefabs and i will show you that if you want to add prefabs you can just select and drag select and drag select and drag and then you can reuse these prefabs in another scene and these prefabs actually have everything with them for example for minimap if we select minimap you can see that it's uh, this selected minimap object has this minimap plan and minimap camera and that are actually inside this object so you can see minimap camera player icon we have added we can change these uh, uh, values as well we can select the mini map and you can see this is the mini map plane actually okay so this plane is actually the exact uh, uh, copy of the upper track okay so he is he created the plane by uh, uh, certain uh, way and now we can see this plane in a white shade on our gameplay so like this we can customize the scenes we can customize everything regarding this template and after everything we can go to public uh, build settings and we can publish our game we can build our game and then definitely we can publish our game so that's it for extreme drift asset i hope you understand the basics and i hope that you can I wish that you can uh, configure it and set it up according to your own needs. So let's meet in next video. Goodbye.